Riverside. <laughs> hey, everybody! It's time for Glamp. G-O-R-P, that stands for Jordy, O'Brien, Riker, and Picard, all uh, notable members of the Starship Enterprise, which um, would be a fantastic job to have. Which leads us to our topic today, employment, jobs, working, whatever. Um, my name is Josh. I talk as well as other folks here. I'm Jess. I'm Brooke. I'm Fry. Guy. Yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> Hi. all here. Uh, so yeah, the topic today is, um, or the theme today is working. We have uh, Jess with the, uh, the bag. What do you got going on? It's a it's a laptop bag. Um, carries my laptop. Mm. Yeah, very cute. You guys ready? Very what cool. Else is it, Carrie? Well, it, it was too small. It's just my laptop, so I had to upgrade. Like my current one's a backpack because it, it didn't hold everything I needed. You were so like, first topic we have is, huh? Hmm. Let me upgrade you. <laughs> what worst things you've done at work? So worst just things like, at just work. Just like Rome song, Beyonce. Sorry, go ahead, Brooke. I have a question about the topic. Are hmm. we talking about for for work, or is it just things that you've Ooh. done at, while at work? I think those are both done at work. work. Do to, at work. Like, never I think I have another work. one in here that has worst job. So like slacking off or um, breaking the law, for instance, in my case, etc. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. No, let's um, go there. What, what'd you break? Whose laws? I, I need to know. What? Yeah. Well, um, Were they the laws of God? Well, according to the according to the military code of justice, I've probably broken a few of them, such as wasting government time by going to the bathroom and taking a nap. Um, that's definitely against the law, technically. But as far as, like, you know, I've committed <laughs> forgery. <laughs> I've done that a few times. Um, what? What? Well, I was, uh, I was, I worked in, uh, finance, right? And, uh, I'm not sure if anyone's aware of military finance. Um, they suck. It's, a, it's an, it's a constant log jam. And some of it was our fault. Some of it was not our fault. It was out of our hands, too much red tape. <laughs> so like in the name of getting customers paid, besides like having to call them for the fourth time to come back in the office and like, Hey, we had to revise your paper. Please come back and sign it. I would just sign for them, get them paid the next day. Right. So I, that's probably happened hundreds of times. Like I'm really good at forgery now. I think the statute of limitations up on that. I hope. <laughs> Ten years. I mean, as well, someone who has been like the spouse on the getting screwed by finance, I would much rather you just get them paid than yeah. have to wait the the period. Yeah. Right. So I sacrificed yes. deal for you and yours. <laughs> The, the lighter, the lighter offenses like taking too many smoke breaks, etc. Yeah. Um, I've broken plates at restaurants just to, yeah. because I was angry, etc. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was because you were Greek. <laughs> no, look at look at this, look at this hair. You guys don't know that thing they do. Oh, they, do this, they break the the plates yes, at the Greek we restaurant. Know. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. We know. Don't yell at me. <laughs> Oh, Don't show me those those Greek. Things I've done. Greek. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I don't know. Broke? I, I know I like something. A... Oh, Jess, go ahead. I'm, I'm a pretty like straight laced person. Like, I feel like the worst things I've done was I have taken a nap in a back office one time, um, uh, when I wasn't supposed to. Yeah. Um, and other than that, like, I would hand out my number to people like in the drive-thru, but that's like the worst. I'm a very straight laced employee. Like I don't like doing things that can get me in trouble. Okay. Okay. I I'm tend to be that way, but sometimes Friday, you got something. What about you, Brooke? <laughs> oh, Brooke? Um, well, as a military finance person as well, uh, I've probably done a lot of terrible things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but I mean, all in the sake of trying to help people because I don't, I don't like being spiteful. That's not my nature. No, 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 no. Um, I, I, I remember saying that I had a, a doctor's appointment. I guess I've probably frauded doctor's appointments a couple of times. It's called malingering. Fail. Um, <laughs> and I've called off of work like outside of the military a ton of times just to sleep mm. in. 
Um, but also I earn those hours off. So yeah, I, I just know. recently for the first time, maybe in my life, I called off like a couple months ago and, um, oh, really? no, it was like last month. Like I, I, like for no reason, I just wanted the day off. I called in and it was the first time I've ever done that. And I felt like shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I am too. Like just the guilt, like I'm supposed yeah. to be doing this, but I'm laying in my bed instead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What do you got, I, Fry? Uh, go ahead, Fry. Well, Brooke was going to say Brooke. something. What was Brooke going to say? Yeah. I'm just going to mental health. That's all. It's just. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mental health. Day. I'm just going to mental health. For sure. It's a very funny sentence. Yeah. If there's yeah. ever anyone that needed to go to mental health, it was the person that could not complete the sentence and just said, I'm mental health. Yeah. <laughs> Be I'll brain one bad. <laughs> brain <laughs> bad. <laughs> you broke brain. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No more mental health, paper. right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of like Jessica and Josh. It's really hard for me uh, to call it sick, I think, or anything like that. I think I went to work with yeah. a throat once, and then they sent me home, and they're like, you're an idiot. And I was like, I wore gloves to put out the drawers. Like, I wasn't around anyone. I sanitized. Like, and they're like, go home. Like, seriously, why are you here? Uh, it's, it's hard. For, I've been at work with food poisoning before, too. And like, like literally yeah. I was like, I, if I get out of this chair, I'm going to shit myself. Like, so I can either nice. sit in yeah. this chair and do my job or I could just, I could stand up and there'll be shit everywhere. Like, you have to decide right now. <laughs> For the love of God, uh, sit down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, it's really, it's so, really hard. You guys are saying you've never shit yourself at work. Oh, I oh, never. No, no, no. I, I was never. deployed. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I've never shit myself at work. Yeah. I've shit so myself. all three of you have well, shit yourself mean, at work. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of hard boiled eggs being passed around in Iraq. Like <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, dog. I've, I've been Always in, had an at extra work pair. With, so so I I'm trying to think the like the worst things I've I've actually done things that I can't talk about because of like the whole HIPAA stuff. Um, I can talk about yeah, like other medics, um, but I can't talk about it with you guys or on here. Uh, but but I, I, yeah, I've yeah, definitely yeah. done stuff in that realm. Nothing like crazy that I go for, to jail for, but I think something everyone does uh, that's in that med- that's in the medical field. I've done stuff like that. It's pretty common. Um, what about taking medical supplies? I'd say, yeah, you know that. You were there. You walked into Alex's workplace with us, and we took, like, remember, we took, like, hair nets. And uh, scrubs from surgery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were all drunk walking around the surgery room because Alex and I have a code to get into the hospital after dark. <laughs> yeah, so good. Like, yeah, That's we good. can literally walk around the hospital. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I could I could do whatever I wanted in the hospital. I could literally just take the service elevator up. Like it was it was super easy to bring to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not gonna say which one. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you do your research, <laughs> there's a baby in the background, like, like really excited to be here. Yeah. It's okay. I'm off topic. Let me, let me get back on. Okay. Worst thing I've ever done at work. Uh, the reason I got off topic is because I immediately thought of, uh, we used to play a game in the dorms called Josh's Balls. It's evolved to with some balls. And it, it used to have a section, uh, when, when Josh and I created it, um, it had a section for Never Have I Ever. And, like, in the middle of the game, everybody put up their hand and be like, never have I ever, blah, blah, blah. And once I was like, never have I ever masturbated at work. And I'm not going to say his name because I think he's, like, a professional now, like a professional social worker. But he just starts giggling in the corner. Like, you know when somebody's like, wants to laugh and they're trying to hold it back? Yeah. And, like, they're, they're, he's like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> like, and then he just starts busting up laughing. He goes, I did. He's like, and it was on a blues Monday. What? No. Uh-oh. That's hard work. So, uh, for the so layman, uh, blues Monday I... means you're wearing very fancy gear. Um, you wear your, your service, yeah. like, super fancy <laughs> professional gear. So it'd be really difficult to manage that uh, without um, wrinkling something. I know a lot of military people that have masturbated at work. Oh, oh yeah. Lot. Uh, Let's just throw some things in the back. Let's just go into that some more. Not um, even at deployment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, just regular never, jobs. I have snuck a girl into the hospital before, and, like, I was supposed to be reviewing patient records, 
Now I realize how bad that was because if, like, a patient's name, she had seen it. I could have gotten so much trouble. But I was, like, a 20-year-old kid, and I was like, hey, you can't get near my desk because I got these patient records out. So you got to sit in that corner and, like, read or whatever. I will say on the um, – Okay, on the on the on the uh, front of like you guys all shit yourself at work, which is great. I mean, that's awesome way to express yourself. It's art. Um, it's art. Actually. It's a shark. <laughs> um, I would say the closest I ever came to that is I, I've driven a lot for work, as we talked about in a couple other episodes. And I would say I, I have like where you think you can push it on a drive. And I'm thinking I need to make it to a certain store by an hour, by a certain hour. And I've left my house at six in the morning. And you're like, oh, I can, I can make it to this store by this time. And then all of a sudden, like, because I drink so yeah. much water, like I'm stressing out because I've already run out of my water for this pot. Um, I drink so much water that I, I've actually pulled off into farmland and found a dirt road and tried to pee into bottles. Like that's happened where I, I knew I wasn't going to make it. Oh, sure. I'm like, I need to find a bottle stat. Right, and then you like slyly open up. Oh yeah, I've done that. Uh, when you get to the gas station, you you open up the driver's side door and the back door, so no one throws you sees you throw the urine bottle into the trash can. So sorry, gas yep. station people. Yep, I yep, apologize. Yep. Uh, you deserve to get paid more. Thank Why you. wouldn't you just pull over and pee? Federal Because I'm in the middle. Like, a, yeah, you, your penis is out in America. Sexual you can't offender. do that. You go to jail oh, for yeah. a long time. <laughs> permanent. Do you permanent know how, how many offender? times I've. Yeah, it's called Luke. I popped the squat on the side of the road to pee. Yeah, did anyone see you? Fry to be knocking on doors for the rest of the life. Yeah, right. Like you can't do okay, it. Okay, guys, it's, ready for the next topic? It, yeah, it's, it's, it's it's just an No more pee pee poo poo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we established it was art. You said it is a toilet humor. <laughs> <laughs> Office dating slash relationships. Yeah, I agree. Ooh. I agree with Josh. Office dating. Fuck. I've never actually. <laughs> Okay, so like I, I, I've like maybe at a party made out with someone from I I spent about a year like crazy about someone at my first military base, like like I was all about it, but she was smartly not into it. Made out with people at parties and stuff, but I never never got there. Um, I'm really glad for it though because you know I, I'm I'm told it can make a workplace weird. Hostile. Full, yeah. yeah. All right, Fry, you go so I can scream at you. Okay, scream at me. Go, go. I'm gonna cut a lot of that out because I accidentally <laughs> said someone's name. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I'm very passionate about Josh's love, about Josh's love life. Um, if only you could see my chats with Josh. <laughs> um. No, uh, I was there for that whole saga that whole year. I, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. No, I, I don't think it was as bad as it as as uh, like nostalgia would make it seem. But you you had it bad for sure. It I was, was like simping. Usher, man. The parlance man. of our times. Bad. I had a bad Usher style, not herpes, but yeah. the other thing. Oh, um, oh no. Um, you were definitely yeah, so chasing I, I, for full year. I was really into it. And then um, I worked in restaurants a lot. So I had a lot of crushes because in restaurants, pretty girls come and go. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Thankfully, though, I never I never had to have a girlfriend that I worked with. I think that would have been bad. But I did meet my ex-wife at the restaurant. I worked, like Her best friend worked with me. And that's kind of close. Yeah. So thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, to answer Josh's uh, question, like, no, I mean, I, I, I just remember that there's so much, that's such a juicy story, but perhaps that's for another podcast because I mean, there was, there was a fire extinguisher incident that that led to. And um, I drove him away from the cops. Uh, yeah. And oh, then he made oh, me. Oh yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah. The first thing of that is like one particular night I was extra simpy and uh, sad boy about it and then like there was a party at the dorms and like I was just I was just really angry so I um, I elbowed a fire extinguisher off of its secured lodging and uh, didn't expect that I, I just wanted to hit it but it flew off exploded it exploded right inside of someone's dorm room turned the whole thing white um, and so Fry comes out and he says let's go I was like, okay let's go um, so he drives me away, the cops show up, and I'm like, hey, uh, 
I'm just going to go say I did this. So I go back and they put me in jail for the <laughs> night. Blah, blah, blah. But it was, it was all because I was sipping really hard for a girl. So yeah, annoyed. it was funny. They arrested one of our other friends. <laughs> they arrested one of our other friends because his girlfriend got scared she was going to get in trouble. So, because she had left her purse in the room when they when everybody ran out, and I was the only one smart enough to like get Josh, another person, and another person into my Impala, and I drove them away like really fast, so we would be nowhere near the scene of the crime. Um, my Impala. <laughs> scene of the crime. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I've always, uh, unfortunately for me, or, or fortunately, I've always, I've always thought of those things like, hey, we probably shouldn't be in this area, like right now. Um, right, right, so no, I that's drove... a wise move, but you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the cop caught our friend. I keep almost saying names. Caught our friend because his girlfriend made him go get her purse from the room, right? So he went back into the room with the same exact shoes that he was wearing when he ran out. So the cop was like, hold on a second. Because he noticed the footprints looked the same when he walked back into the room in the fire extinguisher dust. And he, he said he literally took his foot and, and put it in the, in the footprint. It was like, hey, you got to come with us, man. <laughs> arrested him. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Thanks for your tax dollars. It's weird. That person's, almost, that person's almost a doctor now, which is the crazier part. Um, Jess Brooke, any thoughts yeah. on office dating? <laughs> I would say um, I've, I've uh, never. I don't shit where I eat. Uh, I, I yeah, slept with the same guy's supervisor, but that's about it. Wait, as far as that metaphor goes, I don't shit where I eat. Is the dating shitting yeah. or eating? Shitting. Ah. Eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on, on how. Good like, so, sorry. It depends on if it works oh. out. <laughs> I so when I was younger, uh, I. As it's been mentioned before, I did work at McDonald's and I did date a couple of my coworkers. And let me tell you, it was the worst decision ever because if it doesn't yeah. work out, you still have to see them every day. Yeah, and then yeah, there's yeah. like hostility and meaningless. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. they find out you're dating someone else. So then it just gets even worse. And you're like, oh, I fucked up. I fucked up here. Hey, can we get um, some more apple pies? What well, that makes you <laughs> <laughs> and they were always like they were always what? at me I was my cooker ever I was the one I was the one that broke up with them so there was always a lot of hurt feelings on their end oh, wow. yeah. I wasn't feeling it here oh yeah I did it. Mm. but since then have not dated a co-worker since nice nice work Gigi. don't do it Rope. um I've had a couple flings at work, some drunken okay. hookups and whatnot. Um, I don't find those to be a problem just because I know and they know what that is. It's no harm, no foul. Um, I sure. have dated somebody that I worked with. It wasn't in an office, though. It was a factory job. And um, that wasn't too bad because we're not, like, next to each other all day. We're oh, focused sure. on manual labor, whatever. Yeah. Um, but it was weird to be in the same workplace because then I'm around that person like 24 seven and that's just yeah. so fun. Yeah. So, um, man, is there anything worse than being awesome. around someone you're dating or with 24 hours a day? Like it just ruins the whole vibe. Mm. Like I'm saying like all, all the time, like, cause you need to go to, you need some escape and I kind of use work as like my escape. And then I'm really happy to come home and see that person. Right. Like I'm really like, Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm seeing you again. And, that being around them all the time kind of eliminates that feeling of, oh, I can't wait to go home and see that person, you know? Yeah. It, it definitely mm. can people fall think, into that. Yeah. Yeah. People think I'm crazy when I'm like, oh, yeah, Kate's got a trip next week. It's going to be like, it's going to be hard, but it's going to be great. Like, I'm, so happy. I'm like, because we get break, we get a space, we get time to miss each other. And then, like, I see him and yeah. it's like there's more appreciation there. Like, yeah. Like, it's more of a relationship you, part of the topic, but. I mean, you're right, though. Like, for a healthy relationship, you should be able to appreciate every aspect of it. Like, we're grumpy today. That's fine. Let's be silent for a while. That sounds awesome. Or you're away for a couple of days. Oh, can't wait to fart on the couch. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Walk around my damn house naked. What relationships are you in that you can't fart on a couch? <laughs> well, I haven't been in one for a while, okay? That's first of all. So my couch is farting. <laughs> 
<laughs> are we ready for the next topic? Yeah, we are. Yes. we're ready. <laughs> Reach into that laptop bag. Office communication, email, meetings, Zooms. I hate email. Mm. Oh. <sighs> my so, current um, work has. Yeah, go ahead. My current work has chat, so we like we do it all on Gmail. Okay. And sometimes it's just nonsense. And I'm like, this has nothing to do with work. What are you guys talking about? And other times uh-huh. I'm like, I go to like ask a legitimate like work question, and then nothing comes up for mm. hours. I'm like, well, thanks for for that. Yeah. And, and then the meetings, like next week, I have three days worth of training. It's useless. I, I don't need it. Not looking forward to it. I don't miss that. Yeah. Meetings. I do not miss that. Oh, boy. I was just can talking I, can about... I just, um, just, 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 go ahead, Bray. What is the fight about, Jessica? Jessica, what is the fight about? Because I can hear a fight going on. Someone someone is yelling at no someone idea. else, and it's hardcore. I think it was one of the girls was like, it's my stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah. Get him. Get him. Tell him whose stuff it is, because it sounds like it's your stuff. They're fighting... <laughs> They're playing Smash Bros., Okay. That's what's yeah. going on. Okay, I was like, the audience needs to know. Inevitable. The audience needs to know what that. Is. If you're not, no, if you're no, not fighting like you're playing Super Smash Bros, you're not playing Super Smash Bros, right? No. The amount of controllers that have been broken during <laughs> Super Smash Bros. No, you just bet at the game. Oh my um, god! But I was talking to Brooke a couple days ago um, about one of my favorite memories. And it's it's uh, meetings. I hate meetings. I hate them, especially in the service in the Air Force. We had meetings almost every day. And this is like 16 hour shifts plus. Like we have work to do. And we had more than one meeting per day talking about how things are going. Well, we could get shit done if you just stop pulling us in this fucking room. But anyway, um, there was uh, one particular meeting where uh, we're having, I think it's a pizza party, right? And then, hey, how is everything going? Uh, By the way, you're working this weekend. And then uh, (laughs) at the time, Me and Brooke were both in uh, Fiddler on the Roof, the the musical. So we're rehearsing, and there's a song in Fiddler on the Roof, and it's tradition. That's like the big big, uh, ensemble (laughs) song. Opening number. So we have our pizza party, and then they're like, hey, you're working this weekend. And then uh, I I look over at Brooke, just like my defeated face. And then Brooke looks over at me, and she says, depression. (laughs) I can't stop. I could not stop laughing at the, like, just like the way that we would just like laugh at how fucking futile everything is. Like this, this just sucks. So I might as well laugh about it. But um, every time that I have a bad day at work, I sing that out loud. Depression. <laughs> um, yeah. I might have to start doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Highly <recommend>. perfect. <laughs> I sing it pretty much every day now, but um, it's for other reasons. <laughs> oh, man, I'm never, never going to hear the word depression without depression. <laughs> You're welcome. Shouts out, Fiddler on the Roof. Ah, Sergeant David Weaver. Thank you. Shouts out, Weaver. Um, yeah, I've worked for so many people that an email could be like the meeting could have been an email so many times. And it's like, this did not, I don't need to be here right now. I could be working. Um, and that really sucked that, uh, waste of time. I hate that. And then like, just to piggyback off of what Brooke said, (laughs) piggybacking. Don't you, don't you piggyback off of me, bro. Oh, I suppose I'll, like, I'll be quick. Does anyone have any so questions? Can... No one better have a fucking question. Is that meetings? That are what's the, the topic? Is like uh, what's what's the full topic again? Read, Correspondence, read again, communication. Yeah, that's what it is. Right? Communication, emails. meeting, co- yeah. meetings, emails, co- like zooms, like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. The, uh, I'll be quick. Don't ask a question yep. when you said any more questions. If you have a question, ask it after the meeting. Because if you ask it during the meeting, my ass has to stay in this freaking room. Um, yeah. Two, managers that utilize uh, GroupMe, Messenger, Slack, or, or uh, Slack, 
Uh, anything like that, you're just micromanaging your team and you have no confidence in them or your ability to lead. Uh, and then three, stop bleeping replying to all. Stop replying to all. Just knock that shit off. Don't I don't need to know that you're going to die. I don't need to know. Take right your now. nose out of his ass. It's like, okay, we get it. You, you want to stand out. Fuck that guy. <laughs> you want to stand out as the person you, that, that, that said, I believe in this idea. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you, you just don't. wanted to be the person that said it. That's all you did. Like, hey, everyone, I replied to everyone. Look, look at how much I love this idea. Bitch, you don't even know what we do here. You don't know what we do here. You don't know your we job. But, but yes, yeah, stop replying to all. I think that's, that's the biggest one. Like, uh, or when you, they answer, when you answer somebody's question, when you answer somebody's question exactly in the meeting because you know the answer to their question and you just want to get out of the meeting, so you answer it, like, deliberately exactly how it should be done. And they're like, no, I don't think you really understand what I'm asking. I think I do. Right. <laughs> I don't think you understand what you're asking. Yeah. All right, I think email. you're good. <laughs> oh my hell! You you um you're very passionate about. I've been a leader in, in, in business for quite it's some important. time. So so I'm, yeah, I mean you've been in business stuff, but you've also seen like you worked in a hospital that was in the military. So like you yeah. you've probably seen amongst yeah. the worst correspondence in the history of Earth. All over, oh, wow. all over. It just. It, it probably, blows probably. my mind. I mean, I got my complaints, then, but like you've been in it. I'm totally. Do you think it's because we've all worked for the government, <laughs> where we're yeah. just That's like, like no, oh, yeah, but uh, listen, the same because we've all worked for the government at some point. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to yeah, tell you right now, it's the same. same. Or worse, right? Yeah, I've I've legitimately told people, hey, you probably don't belong in this career field. Like that, I've I've had to tell this people, like you 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 should probably quit. Like, not the job, but life. No, I'm just kidding. I've never said that. <laughs> I've never said that. Klein. <laughs> Son <Yeah>, of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> but no, no. And with that, we're going to so. go to our next topic. Oh, next topic. <laughs> Interviews. Interviews. Oh, that's a nice change up. Okay. Anyone got any ideas? Uh, what's your favorite you interview recent... attire? Oh, favorite I attire. It... Jeff, you said you just had one this week? Yeah, I had an interview this week. Um, How'd it go? I, I still hate interviews. Um, I Sweet. wore my nice professional dress. Uh, the interviewer had a question in there that made me cry, uh, which apparently was what they wanted to happen. They said, that's okay Absolutely. that you cried. You showed you're really you. And I'm like... What's the question? What's but... up with your mom? <laughs> well, so oh, it's, they're like, <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> It's like a public service type thing. So they, it's like you have to work with people who have like different barriers, either poverty or addictions and stuff. They're like, well, what makes you want to work with this? And then like, I, I like you, they gave you the questions before I didn't realize there was back. So I didn't see this question until mm. like that moment. And so like I read it and I started tearing up as soon as I read it because of my reasonings. And then like, as I'm telling them my story, I just start sobbing during mm. the interview. And Dang. I felt like such an idiot, but they offered me the job, so very cool. I guess it paid off. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> paid off. Good job. I but tend I to be. Um, I tend to like. I t interviews to me are usually like tests in high school. I have no anxiety about them. Like I, I just as long as you get me in the room, I'm pretty sure I'm good. That's usually my attitude. Um, I'm not sure how it would be these days with the way. <laughs> Technology has changed since I've had to apply for a job, but like last time I really had to look for a job, I went door to door downtown every day. I just walked downtown every day until I found a job and it worked eventually because someone was like, yeah, this guy won't stop coming in, hire him. Um, but a really bad interview I had was during that time period, um, there was a martini bar and it was a Eastern Bloc slash Russian type of guy who owned the business. He interviewed me and I was like, okay, I'm in. Like, I had that attitude. Just get me in the room. I'm in. Like, I got it. Like, I'm pretty blah, 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 blah. I know how to talk for myself. Um, so I wore my uh, tight button up with the black tie, and I was all GQ and all this shit. Um, and it was going okay. But then at one point, his his nonchalant, like, Russian attitude kind of set me off, I think, in the sense of, like, it, it, it 
took me off my balance, I guess. I don't know. Um, the question you had was like, uh, what if you have a, as a bartender, what, what, what if someone's like, Oh, I'm not paying this bill. What are you going to do? Like he was just mouthing off to you and cussing at you and stuff. And for some reason, like as soon as I walked out the door, I was like, why the fuck did I say that? But, uh, I said to him, like, I'll tell you what I do. I'd say, look, or whatever. You know what I mean? And he's like, like, and he's got, he's like smoking a cigar. He's like, you're not ready. Thank you for coming. Oh my God. <laughs> Because if anyone doesn't know, as a bartender and stuff, your job is to keep it cool. Don't fucking – don't throw your fists up and stuff. Your job is to keep it cool. But for some reason, I felt like I got to appeal to his emotions. Like, he's Russian. Yeah, okay. Beat him up. You know? Dumbass. So you did a heel turn? Anyway, I got a job bartending down the street. Pretty much. It was like, yep, thanks a lot. See ya. <laughs> but I got hired the next week uh, down the street bartending somewhere else. So. It was all good. I just got this picture, like, of you doing a wrestling promo. <laughs> I mean, you, like, it's kind of how it went. I was like, look, you want to come in the ring with the big dogs. You want some martinis? <laughs> oh, my word. Yeah, I could definitely see that happening. Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah. And he played it so cool. Yeah, you'll love what I do. <laughs> well, he's right. Das Badania. <laughs> yeah. um, my most recent interview was for a government position. They offered me the job, and I felt like um, it was too easy to get. Huh. It sounds really bad, but like they were too eager, and I denied uh. the job. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, because, like, there's a reason this spot's open. Yes. Like, yeah. I, I yeah. don't want this. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for you. That's good. Yeah. Well, well good for you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're wise enough to see the job is not worth your time and you yeah. have the confidence to know you'll find something better, that's great. A lot yeah. of folks don't do that or can't do that because yeah, they have I actually responsibilities. I did that. Like six months ago, I was offered a position and they wouldn't um, match my current rate of pay, but they wanted me to, it, it would have been more driving, more commuting, more everything. And I was like, Hold yeah. on. do you know how expensive gas is right now? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'll keep my current position. Thank you. Thank Passed you. out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, my favorite I just really thing want to do play like Super Smash Bros. Oops, sorry. No, you're good. Right, when you did, um, uh, when you did, um, sales crap how'd you get that interview after oh, the I, service? I, you, so so it's not just that I, I mean i've been interviewing i've been a hiring manager for uh oh yeah or, give us that or, from or, the other side <laughs> or a part of interviews for 10 years yeah. now where uh I, i've had managers come to me and ask me to sit in on interviews whether it be uh just to be a silent observer so they can get my opinion on a potential candidate or not i've hired i've fired i've uh mm. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I think the worst interview I was ever a part of, I've told this story before in the classes I teach, uh, was a molecular biologist. Uh, she had a master's degree in molecular biology, and she was the worst interview ever, and it was for a job at Best Buy. Uh, this is when I was an assistant manager, and she came mm. in for the interview. And uh, she literally, the whole interview, she spun in her chair. Like, in the, in the chair, she played spinny chair is what I call it. The kids call it as well. Um, okay, and, so she's uh, autistic? She, then you so she's, don't hire autistic people? Is that what it is? She, she's Amos. not. She's, she's a very, very intelligent, not um, challenged or touched individual. And uh, she knew it. She talked like it. She was very um, cocky about her answers. Or, or I don't want to say arrogant. I hate wow. that word. Okay. Uh, but she was very cocky about her answers about how much better she was in the job. Very cavalier. I even asked this. I, I, I even asked her. I said, "Hey, you know, you're probably you're not probably you are overqualified for this role." And she had a good answer for that. She said, "Yeah, I know it's a seasonal sales position. I'm at home with my parents for Christmas and the holidays, and I just wanted something to do while I was here, so I wasn't stuck in the house the whole time." That was the only yeah. good answer she gave the whole time. And I said, um, 
what do you feel has you more qualified than the other potential applicants that we're going to be interviewing today? And then she stopped her chair from spinning, came right back here, and she said, well, I've got a master's degree, so I'm obviously educated. And I was like, all right, so you're not getting this job. Mm. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> education is not important for best well, you buy, dummy. Walk the line between confidence and price. Doesn't like the word arrogance. Like, just <clears throat> you got to walk the line. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how yeah. people mm. equate uh, an education for um, competence. It's amazing because yeah. I've got a lot of people with college degrees that have thumbs up butts. They don't know what the hell they're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, and, and most so of our jackasses. Uh, I, I mean, honestly, that's why my favorite scene in Good Will Hunting is the scene in the Harvard bar where he just shows the college guy up that's just basically regurgitating information he read in a book and Matt Damon's character says as much, Will yeah. Hunting says as much. Uh, that's one of my favorite yeah, scenes because yeah. I do that stuff all the time. And I'm like, look, I, I know you're smart. Like, I know how smart you are, but that does not necessarily mean that you're uh, intelligent throughout life. You're just a smart individual. Like, you're you're well-read, I guess is the word I'm yeah. looking for. Um, outside right. of that, yeah, I, I've, I've been a part of many interviews. Uh, on the other side as well, I've turned down tons of jobs that I've been either overqualified for or just didn't sound right. I've had a interviewer where, like Jess, I was asking for an additional salary uh, or, or an additional increase in the salary that they were offering. Pardon me. And he asked if he could see my pay stuff for my current job. And I basically told him, hey, why don't you Illegal? fuck right off? Yeah, I was like, why don't you just fuck right off? Yeah. I was like, nah, man, that's that's not what's happening. He's like, yeah, if I could see your current pay stuff, maybe we could discuss it. I was like, that's not how this goes. No. That's not how this goes. I was like, you know what? I, I, that's it, not it's how okay. this goes. Yeah, I, I think maybe we're just not going to meet. It's illegal where, for you to ask me that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, like, I've had that a lot. I've had I've had uh, lots of – I got offered just recently an interview here in England at 100,000 pounds a year uh, salary, annual salary, and I, I shut that down. I turned that down. I mean, I, I turned down stuff a lot, uh, especially now because I don't want to be miserable. Like, I, I'd rather have fun at work and make way less money then sit at a desk and consider blowing my brains out every day, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's just the truth. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's why I applied yeah. for this current one. Cause I can't like, I'm, my flexibility is going to be less, but I'm not going to be inundated with PTSD stories and just, I'm losing empathy oh, yeah. for people and I can't oh, yeah. do it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Jobs like what you have currently, like they, they just suck the fat off your body like you just you just this disheveled fatigued person at the end like and then like like this is not quite the same but it reminds me of like when you work at a restaurant and you see that one lady who's been there for 30 years like she is a skeleton person who hates you and she's you know 25 I mean? years old <laughs> um, <laughs> but like like all the spirit is gone. Like it, it's just yeah. it's all about the tips, and she knows how to turn it on for the customer. But as soon as the customer's gone, it's like that one lady in waiting who's just like completely destroyed at the end of it. It's like the oh, ugly said, face. Wait, I was thinking of that show that you and I watched, Josh. Or actually, I don't even know if you ever got around to it. You you turned me on to it called Sandman, the waitress episode. Oh yeah, Sandman. That, the, the waitress oh, yeah, yeah. episode in that man. I was like, Jesus, her life is awful. Like, I yeah, felt yeah, so sure. bad. And you know she'd been there forever because she's like, I get people together. So, yeah, what you're describing reminded me of that. Sorry. But she but she kept good spirits, though. Like, she, she was still in that phase of, like, maybe I can make it a better place. But eventually you get to a spot where, like, this is it. Like, the world sucks and I need therapy now. <laughs> so it's weird we got mm -hmm. here with interviews. It is weird that we got yep. here with interviews. Well, let's, uh, let, what do you guys say? Two more? What do you think? No, sure. We knew we'd get off the rails a little bit with work because it's uh, petty. I'm just glad I, I mean, haven't we, had a this, meltdown yet. We, we <laughs> can hit this one again, to be honest. This is a juicy, juicy little topic. Oh, you're a juicy little topic. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you're, thank you. Green job a as topic. a kid versus now. Okay, well, I'm going to start just real quick with the hot stuff. Um, I've always wanted to be an artist, so and I'm kind of an artist, but I'm not paid for it. But when I was a kid, I really wanted to be a pro wrestler. And my pro wrestler name was The Chainsaw. Uh, my move was something like this. I would run up and then do a clothesline maneuver. 
I love it. Oh man. Yep. Oh man. <laughs> Turns out My we dream. gotta like do acrobatics or something, but whatever. What about really quick, Jess, right hey. before you go, what about now? Like what would be your dream job now as an adult? Me? Josh. Oh sorry. Um I, I would like to um just do art. I mean I don't wanna like I, I wanna figure out how to do art and get paid for it. Yeah. But um I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. We'll fi- I'm gonna Coming in, figure it out. 36 years old. Coming in 2023, audience. Keep an eye out. Josh is yep. getting very close. 2023, <laughs> the website should be up, and we will have a section for that. And hopefully, uh, if you like us and you want to support what we do around here, you will start buying some of Josh's stuff because we want to make sure we're supporting him and his art. Josh hates uh, everything you're saying right now. <laughs> yeah. Coming soon. Like, motion. That was not you. From <laughs> part of, that's that part of why I'm a failed artist. That was Fry promoting you. That was me doing that. Yeah, you and see I'm all these the all these bus. people on Instagram and stuff that just like um they they show off their artwork and stuff. And I'm like, I'm really proud of you guys, but I just can't do that. I can't. Oh, I thought you were talking about their OnlyFans. I can't page. sell my soul for. <laughs> oh yeah, well I mean, might as well. Some of these like there's like beautiful women who like I'm just wearing overalls, like no shirt underneath, and here's my painting. You know, like. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> that's my dream job. Hey, Got to make that money somehow. Yeah. Josh, you can compete Maybe I just with need that. a job. That's all. Jack Black has made a career of it. You can do it. Yeah, Jack Black's good at self-promotion. I'm not. No! Wearing women's clothing and saying, look at me looking all hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica, what about um, you? Yeah, let's move uh-huh. on to Josh. I think as a kid, I wanted to be a veterinarian. Ooh. Okay. Um, but uh, that requires a lot more math than I'm comfortable yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so now as a, a grown-up, I want to work within, like, leadership development and help leaders be better at being leaders and not assholes to their employees. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Nothing makes you want to quit a job more than a bad leader. <clears throat> yeah. Very true. For sure. Like, absolutely. And it's always the people that don't want to be leaders that end up that not being ones. leaders. Yeah. And they're the best ones. Like, yeah. if you know, mm. I don't like self-promotion, but I'm that guy. I hate leading, but I'm good at it. Um, speaking of veterinarians, though, that's a really hard job, so don't beat yourself oh, up. Like people who fail veterinary school become doctors because no, veterinarians. I can't. I I can't. I don't do numbers well. I suck at math. I yeah. I get I panic when I have to do numbers. Like I have a statistics class coming up, and I told my people, like the college people, I was like, that has to yeah. be by itself. I cannot do any other classes other than statistics because yeah. I will fail. For sure. But the last time I took statistics, I was also pregnant with twins, and none of the information stayed in my brain. It's oh, just, bl- blame the twins. That's cool. It Good was job. a stiff. <laughs> and blaming the twins. Pregnancy just, brain is real. <laughs> I think the part that would be really hard, Jessica, is the part where you're like, all right, so some bad things have happened. Uh, and let's go ahead and kill your dog now. <laughs> like, that would be a hard part for me. Like, yeah. when you just, you know, <laughs> shot, shot <laughs> <in front> of- <laughs> That would suck. Like, yeah. like, like I deal with so much like death now, and it's like just like a like as a tertiary person. Like I couldn't imagine like having to like put animals down. We had to do it to my no. dog and my cat this year, and it was no. terrible. Like, yeah, you could I, not do that every day. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to go through that. <sighs> anyway, is what it is. Yeah, that's the hardest thing ever. I mean, I saw Legend. John Fry yeah. saw me saw Legend. I cried when he put up in the sleeper hole. I wasn't going to say anything. Yes, yeah, streamers. Streamers. Oh, just... <laughs> you talked about that dog. Was... <laughs> he had the full sniffles. What the about... full sniffle cry. Like the... yep. <laughs> so, well, I, I also cried deeply when uh, he hit Chris Rock. Same thing. <laughs> Brooke, your turn. Um... So as a kid, having a dream job, I always changed it. And I just always said what the other people said. Oh, there's my dog. Um, I never, like, had, like, a specific job that I wanted to do. Oh. Um, but now, 
I've changed this so many times, my dream job, but I think now I really want to help develop homesteads. I want to help mm. people develop homesteads. I want that. Yeah. So like sustainable living. I just want to help make it accessible for everybody. Yeah. So. That's great. <clears throat> This is a cool idea, especially considering no one can actually buy a real house anymore. I mean, you're only you're lucky enough to buy a piece of property, let alone if there's a house on it. Yep. Thank you. Thanks a lot, government. <clears throat> Brian. Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, as a kid, obviously, professional athlete was like the goal. I, it's all I like, legit. All I want. Oh yeah. Do. Uh, and I really wish yeah. that I hadn't put all my eggs in that basket. I wish I pursued like acting and writing more because I, I did. Uh, I was a good writer. Uh, yeah. My teacher, one of my one of my English teachers uh, would teach my poetry to her freshman English class, which was like an honor. You don't really realize like I was kind of embarrassed. She never told me it was mine. Um, you don't really realize how cool that is until you're an adult. and You're like, damn, like I must have done some pretty dope shit. For her to be teaching a, a class of students uh, mm. my work, and I, I just stopped. And that if you don't keep that that fire stoked, it, it yeah. goes away. Uh, so I wish yeah. I'd really focus on that stuff. Uh, as an adult now, uh, like kind of a dream job is, is something like what we do here, but I, I, I want to really make it into something. I want to support the people that support us. Uh, I want to be able to show that we can create a pretty – Cool world because all of us are pretty different people that they just have similar interests uh, and I think like one of the similar interests is like hey stop fucking hurting people like just stop being mean to people yeah like it, it, it serves stop no it. purpose yeah I mean I'm being serious though right like why it's, it's the whole thing is like why <laughs> why 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 is this necessary in today's world like from either end of the spectrum like whether you're a Jesus freak and you're and that's who you are that's that's cool but like don't use that to harm others, right? Use it to promote yourself. Use it yeah, to promote MGT. yourself and be a better person. Um, and then, <laughs> and then, if you're somebody that doesn't do that, like, why are you hating on the people that use it to make themselves better? Like, it, it, I don't know. And I want to, I, I want to <laughs> utilize these platforms again to, to yes, have fun with the people I care about and not hurt feelings, which is why yeah. I'm going to heavily edit this podcast. But, <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> But, so just so you're, if you're wondering, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just to, it'll you know. probably get cut out, uh, listener. It'll probably get cut out. But uh, I was verbally assaulted earlier. Uh, you will hear it, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I, think, uh, Fred, I, think, I have to apologize. I'm hurting people, Frank. I think uh, <laughs> most of the people that that have gotten to know me, like, yes, I come across as serious and dry. But for the most part, I'm very rarely seriously angry about something. Most of the time, it's like a steam blow and then I'm fine or I'm joking. Like, and I'm just really leaning into the joke and I get yeah, that yeah. I can be uh, dry about it. Like, like most of the time, even in chat, I'm very monotone. And I have to be like, I'm literally not mad. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seriously angry. I'm, I'm just going along with the Nazi. Joke. Is that what you said? Nazi. <laughs> Nazi. Cool. Hey, cool. calm down. Cool. Real cool. The guy whose favorite costume was the white sheet. You need to chill. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that, that would be my dream job now would be to, to do things like this and, and promote it. Like I'd love to grow it and give other people that opportunity to, to have a platform yeah. to talk about shit they're interested in and, and figure out ways to cultivate that. Like we're still learning how to cultivate this and to grow the audience. And I'm, yeah. I think that's dope. Like I, I still fist pump every time I see one new subscriber and we're not at a lot. We're at like 32 right now, but I do. I'm like, fuck yeah. Somebody else likes our shit. That's fucking awesome. Like, um, <laughs> We're doing at least one thing right by one person. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to do a yeah. mental health episode at some point. But all right. So, but that's me. Uh, <laughs> Next time. I think we should. I think we should. Oh, okay. oh, so everyone's going to cry that episode? Like, that's yeah, that's your plan? Well, we it did get me jobs. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mental health. Give me a job. Last one. Awesome awesome but let's get our last topic, eh? Lightning round? Let's go lightning round, though, yeah, because I... Are we doing lightning round? Yeah. Lightning yeah I, do I, have? I, I think I can cut a fair amount of this right, one pick... out, but yeah, we're still we're still long in the tooth. Okay, cool. so we've got four. We've got dress code. <laughs> uh. Quiet quitting. 
Okay, co-workers be friends. First job. I say first job. First job? can't go quick. Can you go so quick? Say, first job? What was your first job? And then, yeah, you say your first job and like right. um, a sentence about if it was good or bad or if you have some small experience or whatever. All right. Right? Um, I'll go All first. right, Josh, give us the example. Okay. Oh, Brooker, go. Sorry, I'm sorry. Hands up. Yeah, he Hands should up. Be. Thank you. Um, <laughs> my first job was, uh, it's called detasseling. Um, it's where you pull the tassels off of corn stalks. So I walked okay. down corn fields and just, no, it's just pulling oh. tassels off the top of them. Um, it absolutely sucked. I was like uh. 15 years, 15 years old and it was terrible. Okay. Nice. Yes. I worked as a hostess at a Mexican restaurant. And, uh, yeah, Garcia's, if you ever ate there in New Mexico, I worked there. Oh. Uh, and bomb and green chili enchiladas. And, uh, yeah, I liked it. It was pretty good. Well, you mean there's a Mexican place in New Mexico that has great enchiladas? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was on Breaking My first job was, um, my first job was Einstein's bagel. Um, I was bad at everything but dishes. And I quit because I had a football game to play. Yeah. Hmm. That's fair. Uh, I uh, started a landscaping company because it, I needed money to get a car to get a, to a real job. So I started a landscaping company on the back of a four-wheeler. I managed about four or five properties. And then I started having other kids work for me. Uh, I did that until I graduated from high school. Uh, it was all under the table. Um I did that until I graduated from high school, but yeah, that that was a cool job. Sounds cool. Sounds made up too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> moving on. Um, <laughs> it's been a pleasure, and I hope everyone else has had a job who's listening at some point. If not, then get on your job or something. That unless, was almost unless clever. Unless you're not able-bodied, and then just keep doing what you're doing. Hey, <laughs> thanks for uh, coming out, guys. It's been a pleasure. Uh, um, uh, if you have any comments about uh, your bad job history, etc., please hit us up. Uh, my name is Josh. I am at Gorp Show on Twitter and the Gram, and uh, Jr. Berkeley on the Gram as well. Um, I'm Bookish Nerdy Jess on Instagram and TikTok. Brooks Brook. I'm somewhere on the Instagram. Find her somewhere. <laughs> Uh, you could reach the whole show at the Sad Fan Cast now, the Sad Fan Cast on Twitter. You could reach me at the Sad Fan Twelve, and uh, Josh and I are usually in the Menchies on the YouTube channel, and that is the Sad Fan Podcast Network. Sad, the Sad Fan is all one word. Okay, thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure. Y'all keep gorping, okay? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>